Hello YouTube, I thought I'd uh, give you this little nugget, it's on the, plenty of them on the internet if you want to find it, but this is a wiring diagram for three phase stator. Uh, this <coughs> version shows nine coils, we're going with 12. So basically I just wanted to show you before I started, this is a mock-up of the first phase, because no one really explained it to me when I started learning about it. Uh, it's, it's very simple really coils one two and three are joined together here so the <clears throat> in as I shall call it from one two and three get connected here then you can see the out leg as I call it I've got it cable tied up I haven't cut the wire to the short length yet uh, that goes around to four then round to seven and upside down to 10 and then upside down again out so the next set of coils will be from 2 to 5 to 8 to 11 then out and the last set will be from 3 to 6 to 9 to 12 and then out so we'll have the three ins this is a fundamental principle it is actually quite easy the three ins will be connected as you see here on this diagram the black line showing the first second and third all joined together and then the rest of the wires heading out exactly as i stated so yes they're just again they're 24 volt theoretically they're 80 turns of 14 awg and there's 12 of them i haven't got a multimeter but i have managed to test the coils by giving them a good spin on here and uh, shorting them and they all of them produce a judder which is quite noticeable so you know that's good enough for me got a new multimeter on order which i need but and i'm still waiting for my other magnets for this thing which should be around tomorrow but it does look quite nice spinning around and let's just give it a quick let's give it a quick whirly go out for jay he likes stuff like this bless him so yeah, you can see it's not centralized perfectly yet because there's a a bracket on the bottom which is actually an old uh <clears throat> five blade turbine hub which you can see there so I just quickly put it up on here but what I'll, with two bolts but when uh, I put the four bolts in and I measure up all the uh, distances to the outside it'll be perfect so plus it'll have the four uh, bolts holding it on and it'll have a longer bearing which will come all the way through so obviously the the hole gets cut out the stator so it fits around here so anyway i'm going to mock up the rest of the coils and then start wiring them together what up youtube this is where we're at we've got two of the phases phased done so that's coil one four seven ten there's the out from the 10 then we've got 2 to 5 to 8 to 11 there's the coil out from 11 all right and then excuse me we have 3 to 6 to 9 to 12 and there's the out from 12 so as discussed earlier the three starts are all going to go together this isn't really to scale with these bits these are going to be tighter in here somewhere but the good thing is with the vertical wind turbine we can have a lot of space if we want it's not going to get in the way of everything so if we want to have a nice big bit but i use the cutouts from that thing my template to just keep those down and then that actually fits pretty well really it's right on the line you know i haven't soldered uh 
three, six, and nine and twelve yet. But then next, I did put some heat sink around here because I saw some scratches. Now that isn't ideal because it raises the uh, height. You can see of the stator, which is we want it nice and flat. We want to get close to it with the flux, but. I think it's worth it in the payoff with reliability. I've got a bird, uh, my multimeter is not working. I've got a basic test I can do to check the circuit continuity. I'm going to connect a battery up to the start and then we'll have an LED on at the end and we'll make a circuit so that we can check if the power is running from the in to the out, then that's a good sign. So yeah, that's it for now. I'm just going to finish soldering up. Jolly good.